hello friends my name is harish and uh, today's tutorial is a continuation of my previous uh, video tutorial about uh, ssl certificates in my last uh, video tutorial we saw how to create a local server.p12 file uh, using xca uh, gui based application if you have not uh, i will be putting the link uh, below this tutorial uh, video and you can check that uh, video first and then come back to this so i will be using this uh, local server.p12 file and creating a https api in uh, mule so let's go here and let's create a new mule project let's name it https poc and then let's hit finish so let's go and add that uh, certificate first so let's uh, select this let's hit ctrl c copy and then let's go here and add that into our main resources so i have this local server.p12 file available on my project class path now let's go to http let's add a http listener and let's configure that http listener to have https ssl configuration so first thing you have to select is https here so that your api is uh, on https then let's select a port uh, normally in uh, application 443 is the default port where the uh, https runs uh, i'm going to run it on 4443 because uh, i have blocked 443 on my uh, system and then let's go to this custom tls configuration and uh, we are going to put a key store here so we select pkcs12 and then we give the path the path is this local server p12 local server dot p12 file and then the alias if you remember i gave alias also as local server and uh, my password for previous uh, when we were creating this certificate was local password and this was also same so with this uh, this is the configuration which we need to do here here and let's hit ok and let's give it a path local api so with this our configuration is done let's set one payload so that we know we are getting proper response back so we go here and let's add one response uh, let's say response from https secured mule api let's run this so once it is up we are going to call this on our local host 4443 port so it is deployed started properly let's go to chrome okay okay so let's call https colon slash slash localhost colon 4443 slash local api hmm. nothing happened okay something happened so here you see this uh, uh, connection error uh, because uh, if you remember we have a self-signed certificate and this certificate is not validated from any CA that's why your uh, um, Chrome is giving you this warning so you to reach that you can go to advanced and proceed to localhost if you directly try to call this uh, without uh, adding this exception into your browser and if you go to postman you will not be allowed to call this because uh, the certificate is not added you will not get any response back so to get any response back first you need to add this uh, 
exception here and then you get response from HTTPS secured mule API and after that if you go to postman and hit uh, you should get response back here also let me see okay where is that mm, something is not right I need to, oh, okay so here you can see the certificate okay it's HTTPS and certificate information you can see all this information here uh, it says not secured so details are available here okay I should not be hitting that Mm -hmm. I forgot how to see the certificate details okay it's here somewhere so anyway so this is how you create a self-signed certificate and uh, I hope I was able to clarify how to do it so so if you go back here the most important part is uh, you can <coughs> put this HTTP listener configuration into one uh, uh, domain project and then uh, refer this anywhere into multiple projects this listener so that's the best way to do it and uh, I hope it was clear thank you for watching